We pick up the action with Jason Mercier, having raised to 8,000 with Jack Nine suited. Folded around to Bill Perkins. He's got King Queen offsuit on the button. Yeah, Bill could call or raise here on these stack sizes. I think it's more natural to call. Plus, his style thus far has preferred calling over three betting. Yeah, certainly more of a pot control type of approach. Outside the re-entry period, mm -hmm. somewhat understandable for the amateurs. His smooth call allows Olivier to creep in with Queen Jack suited from the small blind. And Kathy is going to participate as well for an extra 4,000 with pocket deuces. Everyone with legitimate hands. Mm -hmm. Laney is duck hunting. No ducks there, though. Ace, 10, 5, and no pair anywhere. And yeah, nobody is really connected on this board. The twos are technically ahead, but Olivier's hand might be best here. He's got a gut shot and a couple of backdoor draws. A bet of 15,500 by the preflop raiser, Jason Mercier. A little too liberal, perhaps, against three opponents? Well, it's a texture that shouldn't connect with them that well, especially the two players in the blinds, so I don't mind Jason's flop bet here. Check. It narrowed the field down to heads up between himself and Olivier Bousquet. Checks it over to Jason, who has hit a pair of nines on the turn and knuckles behind. Olivier picked up the open-ended straight draw, and on the end, the board pairs with an ace. And when Olivier calls on the flop, he's both drawing to his straight draw and backdoor flush draw, as well as setting Jason up for an opportunity to bluff him on later streets by representing an ace or a 10. And that's exactly what Bousquet is doing to the tune of 40,000 here. Mercier really with no choice but to lay down, right? Yeah, I think that's a good fold by Jason. There just aren't many hands that Olivier should have that are bluffing him there. Typically, he's going to show up with the ace or the 10, and he's going to bet the river with both of those hands.